Hello guys, in this lesson, we're going to talk about Facebook Marketplace. Let's get started. Facebook Marketplace is a place where people can find and discover items that they can purchase from sellers within their community. People can discover and purchase items that are used and pre-loved by their first owners and purchase them at a cheaper price compared to purchasing the same item as brand new. Also, people can find brand new items that are priced cheaper compared to purchasing that item on physical business stores. Marketplace is a buy and sell platform owned by Facebook. It's a great place for buying and selling items locally. Facebook will not charge any fee for successful transactions such as selling a product on your listings. You'll get the entire value that you have set as the price of the item. Facebook Marketplace has a section for ads. As people browse the Marketplace section, they can view random sponsored ads as thumbnails among the items per category, sponsored ads shown in the homepage before each category, and sponsored ads shown whenever the user clicks on a product. Any Facebook user can sell something within their location, choose a category that the item that they are selling belongs to, and once the item is posted, the item will be seen on the Marketplace listings. Facebook will show the item to Facebook users who are searching for the same item on Marketplace. These are interested buyers who are looking to buy something on Marketplace. People browse the Marketplace listings to check out the items that they can buy at a cheaper price. Anyone who discovers your items are interested buyers, so there's a greater chance that they will purchase the item that you are selling. Creating listings is not limited to retail products that you can sell. There's a listing type on vehicles for sale such as cars, trucks, or any other type of vehicle. There's also a listing type for a home for sale or rent. If you need to create a listing for houses for sale or rent, you can list them on Marketplace. And lastly, you can post a job on the public job board under the job opening listing type. Sellers with more ratings can increase their credibility that they are legit and recommended sellers. Your buyers can give you a rating every time you have a successful transaction with them. Now let's talk about why is Facebook Marketplace important for your business? Facebook Marketplace offers you a way to sell your products using Facebook's platform. It allows Facebook users to discover your products on Marketplace. Millions of users are browsing for new product listings every day. So there's a huge possibility for Facebook users to take interest in your product listings. Facebook will show buyers related items that are visually similar to their searches and your products are more likely to be discovered by Facebook users. The price of the product can also encourage them to buy certain products that they discover, especially if they know that they can save a lot of money as they purchase that product. Sharing products on Facebook Marketplace is free from additional costs. Once you have a verified Facebook account, you can create listings on the Marketplace. Also, you don't have to pay Facebook for every successful sale. Your products can be discovered by your target customers. Some of your target customers might not be aware of your Facebook page and the posts about your products that you are sharing. You can include your page link in the description of your product listing. Doing this will allow your potential buyers to check out your Facebook page and discover more products that you are selling on your page and your Facebook shop. If you post your products on Marketplace, your products are more likely to be shown in the Marketplace listings under the category that you have chosen. People can also discover your product as they search for keywords that match your product's title, description, and tags. Next, you can communicate with your customers using Facebook Messenger. People who are interested in your product listings on Marketplace will inquire about the availability of your product. As they check your product's description and the photos of the product, the next thing they will do is to send you a message inquiry via Messenger. The common question is asking if the product is still available. Potential buyers don't have to type the message since it's already provided. It will be easier for them to ask about the availability of the product as they click on the send button. If they are interested, the seller can expect to exchange messages with a potential buyer about the product, the best price, and how they can purchase and receive the product from the seller. You can attract buyers within your community. Your products can be discovered by people in your local area. Marketplace shows the product listings within the radius of 1 mile to 500 miles of your location. Your business is more likely to target potential customers in your local community. Transactions done on Marketplace may require people to meet up at a nearby area, arrange pickup on a certain location, or the seller can ship the item. 
Next, you can offer the Buy Now option. People who use Marketplace can filter their searches to look for products that offer to ship. Now let's talk about Facebook Marketplace versus Facebook Shop. Facebook Shops will act as your business's online store found on your Facebook page. Your page followers can browse your Facebook Shop tab and look at all the products that you are selling. If the business has an e-commerce website, their business page can offer the option to check out via website. Interested buyers can be redirected to the website where they can browse for more products and check out on their e-commerce site. Let's talk about Facebook Marketplace. It is not similar to an online store where you as a seller can showcase your products. It is a place where Facebook users, sellers, business owners, manufacturers can list the items that they are selling, showing the price, description, their location, and who posted a product. Products that are listed on Marketplace allow potential buyers to negotiate with the seller and settle with a negotiated price. The seller and the buyer can set how to deliver the item or arrange a meetup. The seller can offer a Facebook Pay option if the feature is available on their location. The seller and buyer can only transact via Messenger and arrange how the product will be received by the customer. As a buyer, they will have the option to find products that they are interested in purchasing. Facebook Marketplace has the feature to search for products and it will continue to show and recommend products that are visually similar to the products that you are checking out. Buyers can choose which seller to purchase the product from with the best price and choose a location near their area. Most brands prefer to sell their products on Facebook pages and upload all the products that they are selling on the shop tab. Their customers can leave reviews directly to the business page as a recommendation. And these allow potential buyers to learn that their brand is trustworthy. Marketplace has few options for e-commerce. You can only sell on Marketplace using your Facebook profile. You can choose categories where your products can be listed under. Buyers can leave a rating to a seller that they have purchased products from. Facebook Marketplace is suited for individuals to sell used or new products or they have just started to market their business online. If someone wants to sell their things found inside their home that they no longer use, Facebook Marketplace is the best place to sell them. Now let's talk about how to set up Facebook shops to sell your products. Facebook shops are similar to an e-commerce platform for businesses that owns a Facebook page. Their Facebook page allows businesses to showcase their products to their followers and reach more potential audiences and convert them into buyers as well. Having a shop tab can help sellers and business owners promote their products on their Facebook business page. It can help increase your reputation as a legit seller when you have a Facebook shop that you own. To set up a shop tab, go to your Facebook page. Make sure that the shop tab is seen in this section. If you need to add a shop tab, click the more tab and choose edit tabs. Enable the shop tab and go back to your page. Click on the shop tab so that you can start to showcase your products by adding your inventory. Click go to commerce manager, then click next. In this section, you need to choose the checkout method. You can check out on another website and your buyers will be redirected to your website to purchase your products. The checkout with Facebook or Instagram option is only available for US-based businesses. This is the option that you need to choose if you want to enable Marketplace as a sales channel. Next, the checkout with messaging option will allow buyers to send you a direct message on Messenger or WhatsApp. Click Next. Choose the sales channel. In this section, you need to choose the Facebook page where you want to set up your Facebook shop. Click Next. Input the business email address. Next, add products. First, you need to select a catalog with the products that will appear on your shop. Let's create a new catalog and input the catalog name. Then add the shipping destinations. Add the countries or regions that you can ship your products to. Here is your Facebook shop's overview. It shows the checkout method that we have chosen, the sales channel, the product catalog, and the shipping destinations. Click this checkbox to agree with the terms. Then click on the Finish Setup button. Our shop is now created and we can start adding items to our catalog. Now let's talk about adding products to your Facebook shop. The products that you upload on Facebook shops can be similar to e-commerce websites. It shows a separate section on your Facebook page 
to showcase all the products that you are selling. This benefits consumers to browse all the products in one place. If you have more items that you are selling on your page and you haven't set up a Facebook shop yet, your followers, new page viewers, and potential customers will need to browse all the posts on your page to discover your products. If you have a Facebook shop, it will be easier for them to view all the products on your page. When you add items in your catalog, you can choose to add multiple items or add one item at a time. If you add one item, you will see this pop-up window to provide basic information about what you are selling. You can drag or drop an image or upload the file from your drive, add a title for your product, and you can add up to 150 characters for your title. Next, add a description for your product. Include any unique features which can help people understand the benefits of getting your product. If you have a website, such as an e-commerce website, where people can check out the product, then place it here. Set the currency and the price of the product. Then set the condition of the product and add a category for your product. Now the item is added to our catalog. Click this button to add more items. If you choose to add multiple items, you can upload items using three options, manual, data feed, or pixel. If you have tons of products, and you have stored them in a spreadsheet, you can upload it here, then choose the file to upload. You can also schedule feed and set a feed or use Google Sheets to automatically add your inventory. Collections are a great way to group your products together. You can showcase your best sellers in your featured collection. You can organize multiple products in one collection. You can group products together as a theme or as a category. Give your collection a name that describes what people can find in your collection. It makes it easier for people to browse through your products and find what they are looking for in a collection. If you don't create collections, your Facebook shop will contain all the items in your inventory that will be random and it will be hard to find items. Once you've added products to your shop, you can reach more audiences and they can discover your page. The products that you have uploaded on your Facebook shop have a higher chance to appear in Facebook's marketplace. Now let's talk about sharing Facebook shop products in Facebook groups. Groups on Facebook can help you leverage the products that you are selling on your Facebook shop. These are owned by another Facebook user who manages the posts and discussions among the group members. First, add the product to your Facebook shop. Go to your Facebook shop and click Add Products or click on the shop settings. Upload your inventory. Once the product is available on your Facebook shop, you can copy the URL and save it on your notepad so that you can include it in the posts that you will share on Facebook groups. Join buy and sell groups. Search for buy and sell groups in your local area. You can type in the keywords sell or buy and sell. Most groups are set to public. You can browse the posts inside the group to check the posts from the members if the products that you would like to sell inside the group are relevant to that group. Start posting content in relevant groups. Craft the text that will appear as the post's description about the products that you will share inside the group. Include the benefits of the product that can help people as they purchase your product. Sharing your products in groups can help increase brand awareness. There will be groups with thousands of members that you can find on Facebook. But not all of these community members are aware of your brand. If you post content on these groups and include a URL link that will redirect people to your Facebook shop, you can gain more followers on your Facebook page who can later be your customers. You can attract buyers in your local community. When you search for keyword terms in Facebook search bar, filter the results by groups. You may notice Facebook groups that are relevant to the terms that you searched for. These groups are located near your local community. If you click on the city option below groups, you can type in the city that you want to target. You can look for buy and sell groups in a specific city and check the group if the products in your Facebook shop are relevant to these groups. Before sharing the products from your Facebook shop, check the posts shared inside the group, read the About section, and the Announcements section. Next, attract ready buyers in niche-related community. You can find private or public Facebook groups that focus on a specific niche. The members in this group will have questions about products relevant to the group's niche. You can look for posts that are looking for recommendations about where to find products and see if you are selling the products that they are looking for. Now let's talk about 
How Facebook Marketplace Works Facebook Marketplace allows Facebook users to browse for items that are for sale and browse each category available on the marketplace. It is an effective way to sell products or personal items that users are no longer using. When people search for terms on the marketplace, Facebook will show similar items that looks the same as the one that the user is looking for. Marketplace doesn't have a way to process transactions. Selling a product on the marketplace is simple. You just need a Facebook account and create listings for your products. You can view a recommended product on the top of your marketplace homepage. It shows new for you and the title that you viewed is now a few dollars less. Whenever you view a product and the seller would lower the price, it will show up on the top of your marketplace homepage. You can buy or sell items by location. To find items to purchase in a specific location, set the filter to a specific location that you desire. Input the name of the city, pick a radius, then click apply. To sell items in a specific location, create a new listing and below, input the location where you want the product to be visible. Dealing with transactions. As a seller, you can post your products or used items on Marketplace and place them under a category. As people browse that category, they might stumble upon your product listing and decide to buy it if they're interested. Once they're decided to buy from you, you can talk about how the buyer can pay for the item in cash or online transfer and how the buyer can receive the item if they will pick it up at your house, your store, or arrange a meet application. If an item is not sold yet, you can expect to receive a message from Facebook Marketplace Assistant asking about an update of your product listings. You will notice that it tells you that you have listed an item over two weeks ago or four weeks ago. It will ask if you have sold this item and your options are sold on Facebook, sold elsewhere, or haven't sold. On your product listings, you may see a blue text showing a tip to renew your listing. Then you can have the option to renew your listing on this pop-up window so that more people can discover your listing. Now let's talk about tips on buying on Facebook Marketplace. Facebook Marketplace is a great place to find items that people are selling locally. Buyers can find similar items from different sellers that may be overpriced and some are priced lower. Once you find the item that you would like to purchase, you can send a direct message to the seller and negotiate about the best price, payment method, then schedule the meetup time, date, and location. When you are looking to buy a particular item and you see a product that you are interested in, you need to check the photos of the product first. See if the seller captured the different angles of the product. Take note that viewing the product on the photo is different when you are checking it out in person. So make sure to look for products that have high quality photos showing multiple angles of the product. You may also ask the seller if they can send you more photos of the product. Next, you may check if the photo used on the product listing is not the seller's own photo. There are some product listings where the seller use stock photos or photos that are seen on e-commerce websites. To check the photo, right-click on the product's photo and choose Search Google for the image. The search results will show photos from web pages or e-commerce sites and visually similar images from this photo. These search results can help you find out if a Facebook seller is using photos from another website without their permission. Next, check the seller's commerce profile. Look at the seller's information below every product description. You can view their profile too. To be safe, choose a product listing from a seller with a good reputation. Next, you can negotiate with the seller. You can ask if the item is still negotiable or you may find the option to make an offer. It would be faster to make an offer via Messenger once the seller responds to your inquiries. Once you have paid for the item and the product is shipped to your address or you have picked it up from the seller, it is time to give the seller a rating. Now let's talk about tips on selling on Facebook Marketplace. If you want to sell your items on Facebook using your Facebook profile, there are no additional fees that you need to pay for. If you need to use Facebook's online selling tools for e-commerce merchants, a selling fee of 5% will be applied to all product shipments that are priced over $8, while products that are priced less than $8 will require you to pay for a fee of $0.40. Cents. Take great photos for your product listings. 
high quality photos with a good background will attract more people to choose your product listing over the other sellers who also offer products the same as your product listing. Upload multiple photos of your product. This can help your potential buyers view your product better. You can upload up to 10 photos for every product listing. Make sure to show different angles of your product. The more photos you showcase, the more potential buyers will choose to purchase your product. Next, include a detailed description of your product. If it's new in the box, tell your buyers about it and make sure that you upload a photo showing that it's new in the box. If your product is already used, you need to mention the condition of the product as used. And there's an option in your product listing for used items. Next, pricing your product. If you are practicing retail arbitrage, you can purchase retail items in bulk and get them at a lower price. You can compare the prices of the items that you want to sell on Facebook Marketplace with the price of that product on e-commerce sites or search it on Google so that you can have a basis of the price of that product online. Next, check the buyer's profile. Check how old is their Facebook account. If they have recently created their account, it will not be safe to do business with that buyer. You must choose your transactions wisely. It would be best if the buyer has a rating. This shows that they are legit buyers and you can trust that they are sure buyers. Next, provide good customer service. You can expect people to inquire about your products if it's available or ask questions about the quality of the product if it's used. Also, expect people to ask more questions even if the answer to that question is already found in your product's description. Some buyers won't take much of their time to read the description. They want to know instant information about the product, so be polite in responding to inquiries. Some buyers who have tons of questions can be your potential buyers. Now let's talk about, we're going to talk about Facebook Marketplace for Businesses. Businesses can take advantage of selling and advertising their products not only on their Facebook shop, but also on Facebook Marketplace. Your business can reach more audiences and easily convert them into your regular customers. Your business can attract millions of potential customers when you market your business's products on Facebook Marketplace. First, you can advertise on Facebook Marketplace. You can advertise your products to reach more potential buyers and shoppers. There's a greater chance that they will click on your ad and discover your product. Next, you can test your new products. If your business is planning to launch a product, Facebook Marketplace is a great platform to test your new products. Just create a new product listing and place it under the right category. It will be shown to Facebook users who are interested to buy products. You can test out the best price to sell your new product as well. You may check the offers sent by potential buyers to see how much your new product are best sold at. Next, boost your listings. You can turn your product listing into a Facebook ad. More people can see it and it can help you sell your products faster. You may even see a preview in your listing section and check out how boosting your product listing will look like as people see it. They will see a photo of the product, the section showing that it is sold by, and the call to action button. The product listing that you have chosen to boost will appear on Facebook news feed, search results, and marketplace. Next, increase your business's local sales. Facebook marketplace shows products to buyers in a certain location. If you want to target buyers in your local community or a specific location, you can choose the location where Facebook will show your product listings. Just create a new listing, choose to sell an item, then input the details of the product and look for location. Change the location to the specific location where you want your product to be shown to and people who are located near that area will be able to view your product listing. Next, sell directly to prospects. When you create product listings, Facebook will show your products to the right audiences who are searching for products similar to your product listings. Potential buyers can send you direct messages about the product. If they discover your product listing, potential buyers will check the seller's information. Your business page will be shown here. People can like your page using the like button and they can go to your Facebook page to discover more product listings on your Facebook shop. Now let's talk about businesses that can sell inventory on Marketplace. 
Certain businesses can sell and display their inventory on Facebook Marketplace. Facebook has opened a marketplace for businesses such as automotive, real estate, retail, and e-commerce. Car dealerships can show their vehicles on Facebook Marketplace. When buyers look at the vehicle's category, they can find the term dealership under the location of the vehicle and these vehicle search results. When buyers are looking for a car to purchase, they can view a detailed information about the vehicle from this car dealer. Another business that can sell their inventory on Marketplace is real estate agents and property managers in the United States and Canada. Buyers can look for properties for rent and it will show the address of the property for rent, date listed, and unit details. This information will help buyers learn how many bedrooms and baths the property has and additional details that they will need in looking for a place to rent. It also shows the rental location using maps. A detailed description of the property is also shown here. It also shows the walk and bike score and the nearby schools. Property managers can showcase the properties that they are selling on Marketplace by adding relevant information about the property. Real estate agents can showcase houses that they are promoting. It also shows the address, the square feet of the property, and more property details. Interested buyers who are looking to buy their property can discover more listings under home sales. The agents must showcase the property with more photos that potential buyers would want to see. Another business that can sell their inventory on Marketplace is retail and e-commerce. Buyers can find these businesses as you filter the results with new condition products and the delivery method as shipping. Under the seller information, buyers can see the business Facebook page. They can be redirected to that page and discover more products in their Facebook shop. Now let's talk about understanding your commerce profile on Facebook Marketplace. Selling your products on Facebook Marketplace can help your business in reaching more shoppers on the platform. You can attract more buyers in your product listings if you have optimized each product listing that you have and have acquired a good seller rating. Go to the Marketplace section on your Facebook account, then click your account. You can find the commerce profile in the section. By default, your commerce profile will show all the product listings that you have created on Marketplace product listings that you have posted on buy and sell groups and profile selling listings. It shows a thumbnail of the photo that you have uploaded. You can mark any item as sold, boost your listing, share your product listing, or get more options such as mark as pending, view listing, list in more places, in more Facebook groups, edit, or delete the listing. Under saved, you can view all the product listings that you have marked as saved. If you have purchased orders, all of the product listings will be shown here. This applies to product listings that have the buy now option and offer shipping. Under submitted offers, you can find all the product listings that you have enabled the option that will allow buyers to make an offer. Under following, you can view all the sellers that you have followed. This is useful if you have found good product listings from recommended sellers. The seller ratings will show up on the top section of any seller's commerce profile. It will show the ratings of a seller based on the number of ratings that they have received from their buyers. Below the rating, it displays the strengths of a seller. When you check your commerce profile, the profile photo and cover photo on your Facebook account will be shown here. You can edit the privacy settings to control what people can see as they visit your profile. It is possible to edit your commerce profile to add more details about you as a seller. You won't be able to edit your commerce profile using the web app. You need to use your Facebook mobile app to edit your e-commerce profile. On your mobile app, click on the marketplace icon, then go to your profile. It also helps buyers to be interested in your posts. You can also update your commerce profile photo to make your photo seem different from your Facebook profile. Choose a profile photo that will be relevant to your brand or to the products that you are selling and add a cover photo. Next, add a slogan. This will allow you to let your buyers know about what you are selling. Below, you can add more information about what you want your buyers to know more about you. Then click Save. You may check your Marketplace Commerce Profile and see that you have successfully added your Commerce Profile's photo and cover photo. Now let's talk about the different categories on Facebook Marketplace. 
Once you go to the Marketplace section, you can view different categories where you can place your product listings. As you check out Facebook Marketplace, you can view all the categories in the left section of your Marketplace page. These are the general categories. For example, you can click on the vehicle category and a buyer can shop by looking at the subcategories available for vehicles. Property rentals are for apartments, condos, houses, or townhouses that are for rent. As you choose an apartment subcategory, you can find more subcategories such as one bedroom up to four bedroom apartments. Apparels show more subcategories for clothing, bags and luggage, men's and women's shoes and jewelry. If you choose to browse baby clothing, you can find more subcategories such as clothes for boys, girls or shoes. For selling products that you can find inside your home, you can browse for the home goods section and find more subcategories like appliances. If you are selling items that fit in this subcategory, you can check out the product listings of these sellers and see the range of prices for a particular product listing similar to what you are selling. If you are selling a stand mixer similar to this brand, you can find similar listings for this type of stand mixer. And you can see the range of prices of the sellers for this particular product. For the products where you can find or sell items, such as tools to be used for your home improvement in your bathroom or kitchen, you can browse the home improvement supplies category. If your business is selling power tools, you can find similar items here and compare the prices of the sellers who are also selling the same products as what you are selling. The home sales category are for people who are looking to purchase homes depending on the location and their budget. Real estate agents can showcase the homes that they need to sell. Choose the right category for the products that you are going to sell. Adding your product listings in the right category can help buyers discover your products, especially when they are browsing items per category. Also, placing the product listings in a different category might annoy potential buyers as they see the product that does not belong to a particular category. Now let's talk about managing your messages on Facebook Marketplace. The messages that you receive on your Marketplace inbox are organized as messages from the product listings that you are selling or as inquiries from the product listings that you have sent to other sellers. If you click on Selling, you can find a list of your product listings where you have received inquiries from potential buyers. The product listing with the latest message from your potential buyers will be shown on top. Click on the product listing that you want to view messages from. Click on the listing again to show the messages sent to this product listing. You can view all the messages which shows the Facebook user and the date the last message was sent. If you have a message received from a Facebook user who is no longer interested in your product listing, you can delete their chat. By default, it shows the first name of the Facebook user who sent the message and the title of your product listing follows the username. You can view chats and filter them to be grouped by listing. You may also view chats as individual chats. You may notice that when you view all chats as individual chats, you can filter the messages via the chat label. So it is a good practice to label each chat. You can easily find chats depending on the status of their order. This is helpful if you are managing tons of orders every day. It allows you to check if there is pending payment. If there are paid items, you will know that you must prepare the item to be shipped. You have to take the time to ship the item and if the buyer has received the item, you must mark it as completed. Then ask for the buyer's rating. Next, label chat. When you receive messages from buyers or sellers, you can label your chat as pending payment, paid, to be shipped, shipped, cash on delivery, or completed. These labels are only visible to you. You can view all the labels in this section. These labels can help you determine the order status of your product listings. Next, you can ask or give a rating. On your mobile app, go to your Marketplace Commerce Profile. Above the seller rating, you can find the option to request ratings. Choose a chat with the buyer and click on the Send Request button. Now let's talk about managing your Facebook Marketplace settings. As you keep on browsing Marketplace, you can find notifications from the product listings that you have recently viewed, updates from the sellers that you follow, and product listings that are relevant to the keywords that you have been searching on Marketplace. When you go to your Facebook Marketplace, 
you can check the notification section above your inbox section. It shows the updates about the product listings that you have viewed, especially if the price is reduced, and it informs you how much you can save as a discounted price. It also shows the new product listings that are created by sellers that you follow. You can also discover new listings that match your recent keyword search. On the top left section of your marketplace, you can find the settings icon. Using notification settings, you can manage how you are notified about the marketplace updates. First, you can see the option Show Notification Dots. Enable this option so that you can receive notifications for new product listings. You may notice updates shown on top of your marketplace page showing that a product that you are viewing has been reprised or a seller that you follow has created new product listings. As a buyer, you might want to check the product listings that you are interested in with a discounted price and purchase that product. Next, Customize Notifications. You can find two sections to customize. Under For Me Settings, you can get updates about your saved items, recommendations for you, similar items, the Deals option. Under Buying and Selling, you can enable the option Buy and Sell Groups, the Listing Status, Reduced Prices, Message Reminders. Under Marketplace Settings, you can set Manage Vacation Mode. You can turn on the Vacation Mode to let people know that you are away. If you enable this option, your pending orders will not be cancelled. Also, potential buyers will not be able to purchase your products until you disable the Vacation Mode option. If your Vacation Mode is on, your product listings will not appear in searches and buyers cannot place orders or start new conversations. Now let's talk about how to create product listings on Facebook Marketplace. You can showcase products to sell on Facebook Marketplace. If you are selling products in your physical store, you must try and upload your products on Facebook Marketplace as well. You can reach more buyers online. To start creating your product listings on Marketplace, click on the Marketplace icon on your Facebook account. Then click on the Create New Listing button. If you are going to sell products, Choose item for sale. If you need to sell your car, truck, or any type of vehicle, choose the option Vehicle for Sale. If you are listing a house or apartment for rent or sale, choose the option Home for Sale or Rent. If you are posting a job opening, use this option to post a job listing on the public job board. Choose item for sale. First, take high quality photos of your product. Your photos will impact how your product listing will be viewed by shoppers on the marketplace. It's best to upload multiple photos of your product rather than uploading only one photo of your product. Next, include the title of the product. Include the product's brand name, model, color, and condition. Next, pricing your product. Check the price of that same product in different online stores. Then set the price of the product based on the price that you can find. Then compare the price of the product on Marketplace from the other sellers. This way, you can gauge the best price to price your product. Next, choose a category for your product. Next, provide a detailed description of your product. You can increase the chances of people discovering your product as you optimize your description using relevant keywords. Include as many details of the product as possible. Make sure to include the features of the product, the brand of the product, the model, and how your buyers can benefit your product. Also, add emojis as your bullets. Under Availability, you can have the options to choose to list as single item or list as in stock. Under Product Tags, you can add up to 20 keywords here, and you can use the terms that people might search for. Next, add a location. You can use your city or choose a specific location where you want to target potential buyers so that they can discover your product listing and purchase your items. If you want to hide the product listings that you post from your friends, you can enable this option so that only buyers who are not in your friends list can view your product listings. Now let's talk about crafting the best title for your product listing. If you create your product listing's title with the right keywords to make it searchable, you will increase the chances of buyers discovering your products and eventually decide to purchase the product from you. Include specific features of your product. For example, you can include the size, the color, or the model number of the product. Next, 
place the important keywords in the first section of your product listing's title. You can add emojis. Most title will show plain text, and if you add colorful emojis, you can get the attention of potential buyers who are browsing for items to purchase on Marketplace. Next, include the brand of the product. Most buyers search for the brand together with the type of product they are looking for. There are instances that a buyer will search for keywords using the search bar on their Facebook homepage. The search results will show photos from the marketplace listings. The keywords that the potential buyer used match the keywords in these product listings that are shown here. Most potential buyers will click on the first few photos that they will see in the search results. If they are interested, they will send you a direct message regarding your product. You may notice that the keyword phrases used in our product listing match the search results. We have used this keyword phrase in the first section of our title. Using keywords that will help describe the product that you are selling will make your product listing searchable on Facebook Marketplace. Make sure that a photo that you will use in your product listing aligns with your title. For example, if you mention that the product is brand new on your product listing's title, your product should show the actual photo of the product and that it is actually brand new. Your success in selling your products on Facebook Marketplace will depend on how you craft your product listings such as the keywords that you include in your product listing's title. Now let's talk about the tips to create a high-quality marketplace listing. It is best to prepare the products that you will post on your Facebook marketplace ahead of time. It can help you attract more potential buyers to discover your product listings. As a result, your products can be sold quickly and you can earn more. Let's talk about what you need to include in your product listing's title. Include the brand, specific features, or the model number of the product. Next, include the best product details in your listing. Think of what your potential buyers can inquire about your product. Include a condition of the product, if it's brand new or if used. Indicate the flaws to set their expectations. Also, indicate how they can pay for the product such as in cash or secure payments via Facebook Pay. Next, indicate if you offer shipping, meet up, then indicate the location. Also, indicate what is included in the product, such as accessories. Also, let them know how much they can save compared to the price of purchasing the same item from retail stores. Next, set a reasonable price. It is important to be clear about how much you are selling the product. Next, upload 5 to 10 photos of your product. Your potential buyers want to know if the product that they are buying is in good condition. They want to make sure that what they see in the photos matches your product description. If there are flaws in your product, make sure to take the photos of the product, focusing on the flaws. Next, choose the right category. As you upload photos of your product, you may notice that Facebook will show recommended categories or subcategories that you can use. Now let's talk about what you can and cannot sell on Marketplace. Any physical product is allowed to be posted on Marketplace as one of your product listings. It includes products that you can use in your home, like appliances, furniture, or tools for home improvement. You can sell products that men and women can use, like clothing, shoes, bags, and accessories. For businesses, they can sell any type of vehicles, sell houses or properties, or set them for rent. Now let's talk about what you cannot sell on Facebook Marketplace. First, services. You cannot create product listings that promote what type of services does your business offer. This includes house cleaning or any type of repairs. Instead, you can promote them on your Facebook business page. Next, looking for posts or in search of posts. If you are looking for items to purchase, you must know that it is not allowed on Facebook Marketplace. You cannot create a product listing and use a photo of a product that you are looking for, then post it as searching for this product. Next, healthcare items. You cannot promote any healthcare products or medical devices like contact lenses, first aid kits, thermometers, bandages, or braces for physical injuries. Next, prescription or recreational drugs. Facebook will not allow buying or selling of pharmaceutical products to prevent people from getting these products from an unreliable source. It's still best to purchase these products from retail drug stores. Next, 
Animals for sale. Selling animals on marketplace is not allowed. This includes posting animals as pets, like dogs, cats, for adoption. Next, event tickets or gift cards. Selling tickets such as seminars, concerts, or even gift cards that can be used on certain shops are not allowed on marketplace. Next, digital media or digital products. This is not a physical product, so Facebook will not allow downloadable digital tutorials or softwares to be sold on marketplace. If you are selling self-improvement ebooks or how-to courses, you cannot promote them on marketplace. Next, before and after pictures. You cannot sell products or services that promote weight loss. Showing photos of a person that loses weight after taking supplements is not allowed. Now let's talk about common marketplace mistakes to avoid. If you notice that your product listings on marketplace have lesser views or no views at all, you must do some changes to make it visible to more buyers who are looking for the same item that you are selling. First, adding special characters in the product listing's title and description. You must avoid adding characters that are not numerical or alphabetical. This will result in lesser views as Facebook will show your product listing to lesser people. Next, not adding important data on product details. If you provide less information about your product, you will not optimize your product listing to be searchable on Marketplace. The chances of potential buyers discovering your product will depend on the keywords in your product listing's title. Next. Not knowing about what items are prohibited on Marketplace. If you create more product listings and are not aware that one of your product listings is not allowed to be posted on Facebook Marketplace, you will risk your product listing being put to waste. Some accounts get flagged for violating Facebook's commerce policies, so make sure to take the time to read the commerce policies and be aware of what you cannot sell on Marketplace. Next. Not responding right away. If you receive inquiries from any Facebook user, it is best to send them a message as soon as you have received it. If you delay your response, they might lose interest in purchasing your product. Most buyers change their minds as soon as time passes and the urge to purchase that product goes away. Next, using poor quality images. If they see blurred images, it will not be enticing to view the product listing with lesser photo quality. Also, make sure that the main photo that people will see is the best photo of your product. This will attract people to click on your product in the search results. Next, not using the product tags feature. This is optional, but you must add keywords under the product tags. If you leave this field without keywords, you can miss out on the opportunity that your product listings will be discovered by your potential buyers. Next, not giving leeway for your product's price. Most buyers will choose to purchase products where they think they can get a discount. You may expect to receive messages asking if the product is still negotiable. Next, not updating your marketplace listings. If your product is a few weeks old, you may notice that Facebook will ask if you have already sold your product. You must mark it as sold on Facebook or elsewhere. Now let's talk about sharing your product listings on buy and sell groups. Facebook buy and sell groups have members who are interested to engage with a community of like-minded people and discover content with products that are relevant to the group's niche. There are Facebook groups that has the buy and sell feature activated in their group. It means that there's a separate section for selling products. There's a greater chance that the people who are a member of the group will be interested in the products that you will create and share inside the buy and sell group. You can browse the discussion section and look for people who are looking for recommendation about a product that they are looking to purchase. These group members might be looking for a product that you are selling. Find more buy and sell groups. Under the group section of Facebook, you can search for groups that you can join. Your product listings might have a buy and sell group that is relevant to a niche interest group. For example, if you are selling products that are related to kitchen appliances, you may join buy and sell groups that only accepts products related to your product. Then create a product listing using the sell something button. This way, your product can be discovered by people who have joined that niche-focused group and are more likely to purchase your products. If you go to buy and sell groups that you have joined, you may notice that each buy and sell group will allow you to sell something. 
It will give you an option to choose a listing type, the same as when creating a product listing on Marketplace. If you choose to sell a product, you must also add the photos of the product, the title, the price, condition, product description, product tags, and location. If you click on each photo uploaded under the Buy and Sell section of the group, you may notice that it is similar to the product listings that you can discover on Marketplace. Now let's talk about an introduction to Facebook Marketplace ads. Facebook Marketplace is visited by Facebook users who are looking to buy something in their local communities. People who are browsing Facebook Marketplace intend to purchase products. If people discover products in the Marketplace as sponsored ads, it will increase the chances of people discovering your business and learning more about your products. Facebook Marketplace Ads is another placement option to promote your products inside Facebook Marketplace instead of your ads appearing on the Facebook News Feed or the Stories section. When you browse the Marketplace section, you may notice sponsored ads on each category. The sponsored ads that you can see under each category can be images or videos about a product or business. Take note that potential buyers are browsing the marketplace to look for something to buy. They might click on your sponsored ad since it looks similar to a product listing. The only difference is that there is no price and it shows a sponsored label. Most ads will redirect viewers to their business website, get their information, or create brand awareness. If you have an e-commerce website and your business is selling items on that site, you can use sponsored ads to redirect potential buyers to your site. They can discover your products, browse your shop for more items to purchase, and you can gain more sales and regular customers. You can reach more potential buyers on Marketplace. Your Facebook ads can be shown to buyers as they actively shop on Marketplace looking for products to purchase. Sponsored ads that are shown on the marketplace are relevant to the products that a buyer is currently browsing. For example, when they are browsing the men's apparel, they might see an ad showing an image of men's shoes. Facebook users who are attracted to the ad will click on it and discover the product promotion. As you can see, the ad redirects people to this Facebook page's post about this product having a limited time special deal. People can click on this link and purchase this product on their website. Now let's talk about boosting your product listings on Marketplace. Boosting your Marketplace listing will allow you to increase the number of Facebook users who will discover and engage in your product listings. As a result, it can help you sell your item faster. The good thing about boosting your product listings is that you can increase your product's reach, drive traffic to your product listings, and connect with your buyers as they send you a message. Your boosted product listing will be shown on news feeds, Facebook search, marketplace search, and marketplace product detail pages. When a potential buyer discovers your product using your boosted product listing, they can check your commerce profile and discover more products that you are selling. They can be interested in one or more of your products, and there are buyers who are more likely to purchase multiple items from a seller. To boost your product listings on Marketplace, go to your Marketplace account. From your listings, choose the product listing that you want to promote. It is recommended to test out one of the product listings that you have and review the insights to check the results of boosting your product listing. Below each product listing, you can view buttons to mark as sold, boost listing, and share. Now click on the boost listing button. You will be redirected to the boost Marketplace listing page. In this page, you can see the daily budget that you can choose from. Take note that the actual amount spent daily may vary. You may notice that the estimated reach varies with the amount of budget that you will set. These are all set for a three-day campaign. You may notice that as the budget gets higher, the estimated reach grows. If you need to adjust the budget, you can select a custom budget and duration. You can use this section to customize the number of days that you need your product listing to run. You can try for one day or more. Just adjust the number of days using the plus or minus button. Then the end date will be automatically updated. Under the daily budget, you can drag this to adjust the amount of budget that you can set for your product listing. In this section, you can see the ad preview for your chosen product listing. This is how your potential buyers will see your boosted listing. People will see your name and the sponsored label below.
They will also view the photo of the product. So make sure to upload the best photo for this product listing. It also shows the text sold by your name. Below, it shows the title of the product listing. Interested buyers can click on the buy button and they can easily purchase your product with a click of a button. If you want your videos to rank high on YouTube, we have a marketing app that can help you get more traffic on YouTube. It's called Play Traffic. With Play Traffic, you can give yourself a big traffic boost from YouTube playlists. Rank for impossible keywords that you cannot rank before. Get traffic from people who are looking for playlists. Get 100% organic traffic that costs nothing. Play Traffic is a three-step playlist magic that helps you get results faster. Step 1. Get playlist topics with Play Traffic's powerful niche keyword finder. Step 2. Find and add videos with one click. And Step 3. Use just one click to publish playlists instantly or to schedule them. Try Play Traffic now. Go to playtraffic.in. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. I hope you find this video helpful. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you on the next video.